As a base, I'm taking Painterly Paint Pop and I'm applying that with a synthetic brush from Urban Decay. I'm taking a matte eyeshadow from MAC Ho and this is going to be my transition color and I'm applying that above my crease below the brow bone. I'm taking the same angled brush by Crown and the eyeshadow spoiled rich and I'm going to apply the shadow in my crease area right below the transition color. I apply the crease color higher than my natural crease. This just gives an illusion that my eye is bigger and gives me more lit space to work with. No words communicating, our eyes are celebrating, remembering another time. Space. I to cut the crease, I'm using an angled eyeshadow brush from Sonia Cassick, and I'm using the eyeshadow Run, Run, Run. For a cut crease, I recommend using an angled brush like the one from Sonia Cassick. It has short, dense bristles, which picks up a lot of product and also leaves a very crisp line. Love is in the air. Feel it everywhere. Love is in the air. And don't be afraid to share. Once I have the cut crease in place, I'm going to begin shading the outer V a quarter of the way inward. For a darker transition, I'm using the MAC Shadow Indian Ink and a Sigma Performance Shader Brush. Small Sigma shader brush and the shadow gravel. I'm also lining the upper lash line as well. Love is in the air. Feel it everywhere. Love is in the air. Share. With a flat lid brush from Sigma, I'm going back into Spoiled Rich and I'm going to apply the shadow on the middle half of my lid, feathering it in with the outer corner. With the same brush, I'm taking Pin Up Purple and I'm going to place that in the inner corner of my eye and also blend all the other lid colors together. No work, it's With a clean paper towel, I'm cleaning off the brush and I am taking a MAC mixing medium, placing the brush in the jar and just taking a little bit of the product. I'm going to apply it to my lid and this is going to enhance the shadows, really bring out the color. Going back in with Pin Up Purple. And I'm going back on the lid, the inner corner, and blending it. As you can see, it really intensifies the color and brings out the purple. Now I'm going to intensify the shadow spoiled rich. I'm going to place that in the middle of my lid and also blend the other shadows together for a smooth transition. For a highlight color, I'm taking Blink Tight by MAC and a 
Fluffy217 brush and I'm going to also apply that in my brow bone and clean up any fallout and soften any harsh lines. I'm taking a gel liner caviar ink by Bobbi Brown and a 266 angled brush and I'm going to apply a little bit of the liner to the upper lash line and map out the winged liner and I will intensify it later after my light lashes are applied. Don't be afraid to share. For a perfect neat wing liner, use the tip of the 266 brush. The lashes I choose to use today are 113 by Ardell. To help adhere the lashes to my lash line, I used a spatula by Crown Brushes. I'm using NYX HD. I find the best way to apply this foundation is using a Real Technique Essential Brush and also I really recommend this foundation. It is of high quality with a low price. I concentrate on one side of my face at a time, applying the foundation in downward quick strokes towards my neck. Love is in the air, and don't be afraid to share. For a better coverage, use a brush like this essential foundation brush by Real Techniques because the bristles are dense and it really works the foundation into your skin, giving for a seamless, almost flawless application. Save time, I applied the rest of my makeup and now I'm going to use Physicians Formula Ultra Black Liquid Liner Pen and I'm going to finish my liner and intensify the wing. I already applied the gel liner first, it's much easier now to apply the wing liner. No words communicating, our eyes are celebrating, remembering another time. Space. If you like really intense black liner, I really recommend this Physicians Formula liner pen. To line the lower lash line, I'm using Scandal Eyes New Waterproof Liner in purple. Yeah. Don't be afraid to share. To intensify the lower lash, I'm using Stila Waterproof Liner in black. I'm cleaning up any fallout with concealer and also this will brighten the under eye area. Elf Pigment in white. Applying that in the inner corner with a Sigma Performance brush and on the brow bone. For more intense look, I'm placing more pinup purple on the lid with the 239 brush. Using the 
Candle Eyes Rimmel Waterproof Liner in Nude to line the outer area of my lips. Gentle Lip Liner by MAC. Lip brush to apply Daddy's Little Girl to the lips. To finish the look, Laura Mercier's Setting Translucent Powder. Feel it everywhere. Love is Adding mascara, I'm using MAC, and I want to blend my lashes to adhere to the false lashes. So here is the finished look. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed. And hopefully you'll subscribe if you're not subscribed. And that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.